it's Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been quite a while. Not a long time. It hasn't been like years, but it has been quite some time. Um, <laughs> hi, Pony. Uh, he's Pony. Pony. Sorry, I get confused whenever I'm filming. Because like what's on my side is like on the other side on the camera. Um, but I figured I'd just do a little update on um, like my life and like how the horses are doing. Obviously, Pony is still kicking, and Jackie is still kicking, and then Midnight's, like, right behind me, but she's not coming to say hello. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, life's been a little, a little crazy. Um, just, just a lot, uh, you know, obviously being an adult in itself is a lot, because you work a job, and then I also have my horses, um, and then trying to, like, ride and compete, that's just... It's, it's just a lot. It's it's just a lot. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know. Uh, just got a lot on my plate. Um, but anyway, like I said, I uh, figured I'd just come on here and film like a little update. Um, I don't know. I don't really have anything exciting. I think the most exciting thing that I'm doing this weekend is cleaning this trailer and um, my truck. Uh but other than that, like, I don't really have anything exciting. And then, like, maybe hanging this gate right here. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. My weekends are pretty, um, bland. Um, whenever I don't have a lesson or, like, anything, really. It's just been so rainy, so, um, like, it's raining, like, every afternoon. So it's been a little too wet to ride. Um, like, anything of consistency, you can just, like, hack and that kind of thing, but... A little too wet to like ride and like actually do anything um but yeah like i said a lot has changed so i figured i'd just give you like a little update so this is the trailer's new home um right beside the barn uh this is the barn if you didn't know and then my dad's old truck my truck stays up yonder at my house um <clears throat> so obviously this trailer my trailer stays here now hi pony Yes, yes, yes. So this gate <clears throat> is going to go from that end of the barn right there all the way to this end. Because um, right now we just have this little, like, <clears throat> wire. It's not even a wire. Uh, it's just, like, fencing, but it's not, like, electric or anything. So I got this gate at Tractor Supply. Um, it does have a little wear and tear on it, but it's okay because I was not going to pay $230 for a 12-foot gate whenever I could just pay, like, 120 so anyway, that's that. Um, obviously, I have a ladder because I had to change all the light bulbs because they're just getting old. And the ones I put up are now brighter. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we have ladders, the posts for it. Let's go right here. Um, <clears throat> done some, like, stuff to the barn. Added that sign. Uh, have cleaned up this wash bay pretty good. Um, this has always been a wash bay. Um, but it was just, it just had a lot of stuff in it. Um, so slowly but surely I'm working on cleaning this area out. Um, <clears throat> it looks a lot better than it did. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the area. Also, there's this giant like wasp nest or like bees nest or like whatever you want to call it up there. It was like terrifying for the longest time. And then not much has changed with the ponies. Obviously, <laughs> Jackie Jackie Doodles. Hi, Jack. Hi, buddy. And then Pony. Pony got a little um, dinosaur mane. He looks so adorable. Can I show them your mane? No. Hi. Yes, I know. Can you see it? It doesn't look great right now. To be fair, it never looked great because I can't get the triangles right. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like what it looks like. The fair is coming Monday, so probably need to like clean out this area. Cross ties or whatever. I also got um, fans to go in their stalls. Um, they're not here yet. And then I also got some, like, two little, like, heaters to go um, up here. Like, in the rafters, like, go, like the cross tie area. Um, to keep them warm and to try to keep my fur more warm in the winter. But we shall see how it ends up looking. Um... The heaters, I got two of them, like I said. I got those from Tractor Supply. 
And then the fans, um, they're like collapsible fan. They're not collapsible, but they can like swivel. So that's really nice. Um, got those from Northern Tool. Um, got like five of them, I think. So that should be fun. That should be interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so now I'm probably just going to do like a little like grooming video. Like, talk, talk to you guys, talk to you guys. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, there's not really going to be a purpose to this vlog, but it's okay. Because I'm just sharing with my friends, which are you guys, my life, and kind of just hanging out with you guys. I keep most of my stuff in the horse trailer tack room, which is why the new home is like right next to the barn. Um, just because it's easier. It keeps my stuff in better condition, I find. And I don't want to put it in my tack room because it's just my tack room. This barn is not really, like, a fancy barn. Um, I mean, it, it, it does its job really well, but I just feel like I don't want it to get dusty. And my trailer's a lot, like, less likely to get dusty and, like, dirty, so I just keep it in there. Um, I'm going to pop these boots on right here because it's wet and disgusting. And then I will go get my tack out of my trailer. Not my tack. Um, girl, what? Um, not my tack. Uh, my, um, brushes. Sorry. Jackie out. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> he likes to, uh, like, nibble your hands, but he just nibbled my hand a little too hard. Um, so, actually, I decided I'm going to take you guys for a little hack. Um, I called my husband, um, because we live, like, walking distance up the road from the barn um and uh he's gonna bring me some riding breeches and i'm gonna pop on jackie um just for like a little hat um so yeah like i said too wet to ride and do anything with consistency but hey a hack is a hack and it's also not like really hot so we're just gonna like pop on and just kind of have some fun so I need to get brushing, so let me go grab my brushes, and then I will be right back. <laughs> Got my brushes, not sure if you can see them, but I just grabbed them, so I'm going to get going on Jackie. Um, I'll catch back up with you guys after I'm done brushing him, so. so. My husband brought me my riding breeches and some tall socks. Jack, for the most part, is groomed. He, uh, got a nice grooming. My husband's right there doing something on his phone. He's always on his phone. But, uh... Yeah, so now I guess I'm gonna get um <clears throat> get my stuff on and then grab my tack out of the tack room. Uh, so yeah, but I will catch back up with you guys momentarily. So I got dressed in the trailer. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm ready. I'm very hot. It's like it was like damp. I'm well, not damp in the trailer, but it's just like really. <sighs> We're not in a great season, y'all. We're not in a great season. Jackie's a sour butt for the saddle. He does not really love his saddle. <laughs> uh oh. My poor girl. So yeah, uh, this, this like saddle pad I'm using, it's not honestly really a saddle pad. It's a baby pad. And um, whenever I got Jack, his old owners were very kind enough to give me one. Uh, they had two. This one says a show name, which is Over the Moon. But they had another one that was like a darker blue with like red. And it said Jack. But they gave me this one. And I really liked this one. It was very kind that they gave me this. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Um, I'm going to finish tacking him up now. And then I will... Have my husband catch back up with you guys after I get on. So we're about to get on. Uh, just gonna pop Jackie over somewhere where I can get up on him. So the horses are freaking out because uh, I took Jack away. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. He's like, I have food. 
said uh these brie shoes very new um would not recommend <laughs> uh, i had to get on one of those uh like benches so uh yeah now we're just gonna hack around um <clears throat> jackie and joyce has hacked quite quite good Or you know you just like starve your horse. <laughs> they can have all the food in the world, but they'll still think you're uh, like starving them. So, um, to start off the ride, I usually just like to let them come and do whatever they want with their face, and then, like, uh, once they're kind of like walking around for a bit, I will try to get them to do some kind of head, um, flex for a So, well, I'm Jackie, you know, and uh, my husband has went to our house, which is like right up the road, and uh, he's going to get my good camera, so uh, 
yeah check there's a wood beam right there <laughs> uh yeah so i got a little bit of water on me like i said it's rained pretty much the majority of today uh are you gonna go see mama uh i don't know jack's just kind of taking me wherever jack wants to go <clears throat> um so yeah i should probably put you guys down um chat uh and just kind of actually like pay attention so uh yeah i'll see you guys in a minute i like to do some stretches before i get off because yeah i don't know uh cow boots kill my like ankles and like every time i get off my ankles literally feel like they're gonna like break in half um also another tip if you wear an air jacket um make sure you unclip this lanyard out of your vest because i've seen people do that um hopefully not at home but just like um like at an event one time i remember this girl went clear on cross country but she forgot to unclip her air jacket and whenever she got like to the end and like off she got off without unclipping her air jacket and boom everyone thought she fell off but <laughs> she did it <laughs> all right Rocky was very good. Were you good doodles? He says yes, just take me inside. Now he actually just wants to eat grass. Um grass is life, so you know, um so grass is life. Um that. and um yeah, I just always roll up my stir up. So just got off, just got his bridle off. I had a pretty good ride. Um rode for like 30 minutes maybe. Um uh, just because it's kind of getting dark out and I still gotta, like, muck the stalls and, like, wet them out for the night. Put them out, turn them out, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, <clears throat> so, he was really good. Uh, he has a really bad problem where he just, like, if you take him out, he just wants to eat grass. Which, like, I feel like every horse has that problem. But, especially, like, with leisurely rides, like, a hack or something. Like, he doesn't really, um, he takes it serious enough. But, like, that grass is always just lingering in his head. It's like, grass. Um, also, these guys, Pony and um, Midnight, always have a cow whenever Jackie leaves. Um, I feel like it's just because they're just all in a herd together. And, um, yeah, so it'd be kind of like if your best friend just left you without warning. I guess she'd be like, hey, girl, where are you? <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to finish untacking him. I might do like a little um, montage. Not montage. What's it called? Not montage. Clock. No, time lapse. That's what it's called. Time lapse. I might do a little time lapse. So here we go. <laughs> now Jackie is all intact uh except his bell boots I gotta take his bell boots off um but yeah so um yeah I'd be gonna give him a little brush down he's not sweaty um as you can tell it was like a very leisurely ride um I think we maybe tried it like twice <laughs> during the whole thing uh, other than that I was just walking around and uh doing a little bit of head frame work neck frame um but yeah, so I'm gonna, gonna brush him down now, and uh, then I'm gonna turn everyone out. Then I'm gonna switch into my other boots, um, my camo, my camo boots, and um, do their stalls and just like kind of just do everything for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I will catch back up with you guys after I brush them and I am letting them out, or they're already out. <laughs> I don't have any more cookies. Are you ready to go out? Are you ready to go outside?
wait. Let me show you his little man. Stop. <laughs> Hold. Okay. You see his little dinosaur man? It's so cute. All right, let's go outside. First things first, my saddle, my saddle pad, my Ogilvy, Ogilvy, Ogilvy. I don't know how you pronounce it. Hat pad. <laughs> I've had this hot pad forever. I absolutely love it. Absolutely no idea where I'm gonna put you guys. So you guys might just end up staying on my tat trunk. You're not seeing this part. <laughs> um, someone asked me what saddle pad I use for cross country show jumping. If I'm allowed to wear colors and I show jumping, don't mind it. It's really um dirty, but it's just an Ogilvy. Um, forget what this is called. I don't know. I'll pop a picture up, but it's just the Ogilvy like jumping pad it's got like a little um half pad built in but that's the one i really like to use so um well this was like 80 bucks i don't i don't know i can't remember i'll pop it up on the screen um that's what i use it's, uh eoc or ogilvy equestrian or something like that i don't know i'm not canadian where um where this brand is based out of uh, they're a Canadian company. Really great quality, high um, high quality products. So if you're in the market for like a cross country saddle pad, a uh, hat pad, or anything like that, they also do like polo wraps. I believe they also do dog beds. Um, they do a bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, it's like Ogilvy Equestrian. Um, so yeah, definitely something to check out. Uh, so this is also the half pad. Like I said, I've had it for years. Uh, you can definitely tell it's like, but really good quality. I've had this boy for like five or six years, but it's held up amazingly. Um, there's like, um, I believe it's foam in these um, pockets and you can take it out. This is Velcro, like the, um, the back part, like this is all Velcro, this black part. You can take the shims out um, and wash it, like the pad or like the cover. Uh, but yeah, I've had this for a long time and I really, really, really love it and recommend it. Um, but yeah. Okay, for sure taking my boots off now because <laughs> I've been in these bad boys long enough today, honestly. Uh, can't get the bottom part. Got it. Oh, feels amazing. Feels amazing. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I had a really good ride on Jack. He was a bit uh, unfocused on riding and more focused on eating grass, which is fine, I guess. Um, <laughs> not the thing you kind of want to see, but um, it was just a bit too mucky and wet to like do anything with consistency. But uh, like I said, I'm not sure if you guys heard me, but um, I do like to like keep them in a constant contact if I'm just hacking out uh, some sort of frame. Um, just something to work their muscles and throughout the ride, I definitely don't keep him in frame the whole time because that's just, I just don't fancy doing that really. Um, but it is a ride, so every time you ride, um, you're working on something, uh, in my opinion, um, even though I wasn't like jumping or doing anything extensively or exclusively, however you want to put it, um, that's kind of my take on it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish untacking myself, aka getting this air jacket off, which, uh, yeah, and then I have to wrap Jack's bridle and then I have to muck the stalls for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit back in my million dollar shoes they're honestly awesome but yeah so take this to the trailer take the helmet to the trailer safety first uh have a breath over here do i look like a mom yet guys a horse mom uh-huh no, i'm kidding <laughs> um but yeah this is really how I look um at a show honestly uh like whenever like we get there <laughs> we usually we usually um get there like pretty like when when everyone's coming um 
so we don't really have that much time to um kind of like unload our trailer so uh we go park it somewhere so we're not in the way and uh then i have to carry everything which you know exercise but uh that's kind of what i look like so anyway i'm just gonna put my helmet up then i'm gonna knock it out yay hey guys it's not on it's about 30 minutes later um it's getting dark outside um I've done everything that I needed to do. I have muck stalls, filled up with waters, um, put some water in the alpha alpha for tomorrow. And uh, now it is time for me to uh, go make dinner. Uh, so I'm going to leave this vlog here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Um, my apologies, it's probably going to be a little bit all over the place, but that's kind of my style because I'm a bit all over the place. Um, but, uh, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave suggestions in the comments below, um, if you want to see anything. Ask questions if you have questions in the comments below. And, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!